If I wasn't running or if I wasn't leading by a lot, they wouldn't care. Honestly, if I was in seventh place, but think of it. I wonder we have like 11 or 12, including some Democrats, right? So you had a few Democrats. I don't know what happened to them, their guns. Are. Then you have this no labels crap. You know what no labels is? Take somebody that failed in his own party and he runs in no labels, you know? I don't know what that deal is all about. Actually, the Democrats are more concerned about it than I am, but they'll try fixing it so that a Republican runs, you know? But no labels is not a good thing. It's not the way the country was supposed to be. But if I weren't running or if I was in seventh place, None of this stuff would be happening. I'd have a wonderful life, but I'd be losing. And that wouldn't be a wonderful life. That wouldn't be because we have to win. Now, think of it. If I were in third, fourth, fifth, seventh place or wasn't running, I wouldn't have any of the stuff that we talk about. I wouldn't be taking flights, but of course, I wouldn't be here either, right? We wouldn't be here with people standing outside not being able to get in. So the new Redfield Wilton poll, highly respected, it has Trump at 72 percent and Haley at 9 percent. In Nevada, we're polling at 100 percent. Think of that. And a lot of people don't know, they never cover this, but the next state is not South Carolina, where, if you saw, almost every single elected official was here last night endorsing me. Pretty hard. You know, she's the governor. They're all endorsing me, which tells you something. But in Nevada, which is actually next, uh, next week, and uh, we have 100 percent because it's a caucus. And I was leading by so much that they all pulled out. That's a nice feeling. Then we go to South Carolina, where we're leading by a lot. In South Carolina, respected pollster Tony Fabrizio. Is he a relation to Al Capone? Tony Fabrizio? <laughs> Alphonse Capone. I keep saying it. The guy got away with murder. <laughs> Tony Fabrizio has it where Trump is at 64. Very good pollster, by the way. And Haley is at 25, 64, 25. We're leading in the New Hampshire and all over the state. We're leading here. And uh, all of the polls, but, you know, with all of it, I could go over polls. You know, I only give you good polls, okay? I never talk about bad polls. Okay, you understand. But we don't have any bad polls. We really don't. And our best polls are against Biden. Frankly, our best polls and the other people that were running and are running but uh, are losing very substantially to Biden. Uh, so with all of the polls, I won't go through any more of them, but they're the same thing. With all of the polls that are out, everything's – we're all set to win, but you have to do just one favor. No matter how big we're winning, we want to win by big margins. It means so much to win by 70 percent, 50 percent, 40 percent. That's what happened in Iowa. I was going through Iowa. Every time I got up, the first thing I say, don't believe the polls, just go out and vote, because even if we're going to win by a lot, we've got to win by more. The more we win by, the bigger a signal we send for November. So that's why. You have to do it. We're also dominating Crooked Joe Biden in the general election. We're up eight points over Biden in the brand-new Rasmussen poll. And Haley is down, I think, six or something like that. No, she's going to lose. She's going to lose. No, they want her to run. The reason they're – you know, they're financing her. They're spending all this money. They have a guy named Reed Hoffman, sloppy-looking guy, not attractive at all. I'm not allowed to say that. If it were a woman, I could definitely not say it. But about him, he's a real slob. But he's rich. And he's fine. He's a Democrat operative. He's given them a lot of money. It's terrible. Giving her. 